Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez and I am doing another quick and easy card. This time I'm going to be um, showing you how to make a really quick and easy card using the abstract impression. This is another one of my favorites. I feel like I can put a lot of cards together using this one. And I honestly love all the different sentiments on this one. So anyway, this comes also with a die set. Um, I've been using more and more the... Um, the stamps that I have not yet played with the um, dies, but they're also really cute. It has a really nice butterfly. Um, so anyway, and if you get them together, then you get the bundle price where you're saving 10% of both of them. So they're both great. However, I've been using a lot more the stamps and then the dies. But anyway, I'll probably be using them later on. I'll show it to you in a future video. So um, the card today is a little bit different than I what, what I have done, I guess. Um, I'm using the Share What You Love Design Series paper, which is this one that has a really nice pearl shimmer into it. And I'm using also uh, Rich Rush Barrow. My, my card base is five and a half by eight and a half, and this one is um, Whisper White. And I'm just going to be folding it in half using the bone folder as usual. I love using my bone folder because this gives me a really crisp <clears throat> um, fold. Um, the Rich Russell Berry is four by five and one quarter. And this piece is um, three and three quarters by five. I already die cut the circle um, using the, um, what is this called? Layering circles, I use this one. Um, I love using the dies for all of these. And that's one of my favorite things, using just dies. But anyway, um, this one is a square that is three by three and this one will go here at the at the bottom okay so mm, this is where i'm going to be using a pencil and really 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 lightly you're going to do the circle so that you know exactly where you can see it's really light you don't want it to show up, but this is where you're going to be stamping. So that's the reason. This is a little bit different than what I do. I think I've done a couple of these type of cards, but I do it that way. Um, but anyway, so here it is. You can see it there. And I'm going to be um, using... I have here the um, Coastal Cabana Bermuda Bay Lemon Twist and Granny um, Apple Green. Even though this one has the old olive, I thought that it would be fun to have either the lemon lime or the um, the granny apple green. So anyway, let's start with the grass. So we're going to go ahead and put the grass. And because this is photopolymer, you have heard me in the past. I love using my um, piercing mag at the back because that helps me get a crisper image. So I'm going to go ahead and I uh, probably will be doing like two of those because I want the whole circle to have it. And then I'm going to go with the, um, what is this color again? The granny apple. This is one of the new colors and I think it looks really cute. So here we go. Alrighty, and then I'm going to go with the, with this color, which is Custal Cabana. I'm going to try to, there's like a little thingy there, okay. And I'm going to be using these. And the same thing here. And then I wanted to add a little bit of the darker color, so I'm using Bermuda Bay, which I think goes really well with this color. So let's just do that, and I'm going to be centered them. There we go. And...
this in with that one. Do you see that? All right, get a darker image right there. So then I have this piece of, um, and I, the, uh, what is this, lemon lime twist. And this one is, oh my goodness. Of course I cannot find my, oh, here is my ruler. It always happens, right? So this one is one inch by four and a half. And I think I'll be using the greeny apple so that it is darker. And I have this sentiment that says, if flowers were hugs, I'd send you a thousand. I thought it was really cute. Um, so here we go. Yes, that is perfect. I love it. So, this is all the stamping that we're going to be doing. So, let's just move to putting together the cards. So, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be um, adding this one. Let me just put all of these there because I don't want to get anything on my card stuck right now. And um, I'm going to be using this now. And then what I'm going to be doing here, see how it looks? Yes. So now I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be um, actually erasing some of these. So nothing shows up. This is what you need to do a really light line so that it's easier to, to erase so you don't have anything showing up. And so then, here's what we're gonna be doing. Is that not really cute? So what we're gonna be doing now is, um, oh, there's some glue here. Is I'm gonna be adding dimensionals on this section. Um, where is my dimensionals here? <clears throat> so let's just do one here, one there, another one here, another one there. And then I'm gonna be adding some to this section because I'm gonna be gluing this like so. And until I have this section covered, then I'll figure out. So I'm only first going to take out the first four around the circle. And you know what? I think it will be good if we add another one here. Probably add one more here and one more there. Just to make sure that there's nothing there. Okay, and then, like I said, I'm gonna place this. Oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, oh, this is this way and it is this way. So, and I'm gonna be putting it like so. Okay, now for this section, I'm gonna be adding this nail here because this one will go straight here. And so now that I know exactly where the dimensionals are, then I'm gonna be adding one here, one there, and another one here, just so that everything stays where it should. I'm gonna peel it off. Like I said, this is not my typical type of car, but I thought it would be cute to see it, um, kind of like a little window through the flower, flowers, right? And so now I'm gonna go ahead and put it like so. And then this one will go here. Now for this section, I wanna do a little B, as usual, to make a little banner. Oh my goodness. And then, um, I think it will be great if I put it like so. 
Yeah, and so I'm gonna be cutting somewhere here. There we go. There we go. And so for these, I'm gonna be adding also, no, I think I'm just gonna go with the, with this one, don't you think? I think it will be good. Let me see, if, would it make sense if I add a little bit? You know what, it looks good. So I'll probably add another one here. So I'm gonna be adding also that one. We're gonna be doing a little V here. Okay, I think, yeah, it looks cute. So let's just add snail. You know me. I almost never have the cart um, made. I usually go or do it as I go. So I'm going to have it like so. And then I'm going to be cutting the little piece here. So now that I have it, yes, that looks better. So now I'm gonna go ahead, oh. And add the whole thing to this area. All right, and here you have it. Is that not really nice? I think I like it a lot. It looks really cute. So anyway, so this is the card for today. Um, like I said, it's really quick and easy. Also, don't forget about the, incentive, the ordering incentive that I had during 2018. Um, if you go to my blog, creatingwithally.com, you can get the hostess code. And when you place an order with the hostess code, um, you get a card kit in the mail for uh, to make four cards. I'll send you everything, paper, embellishment, whatever I use, I'll send it. And the only thing that I won't provide is the stamping. You'll have to um, use whatever you have at hand. Um, if you don't have the stamp set that I'm using. Um, and also, if your order is $50 or more, then you actually get the accessory of the month on top of the car kit. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. And what do you think about this? Um, I think I like it, and I like that it goes with all those little circles. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.